Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can delete your primary and your secondary accounts from Microsoft Outlook on the desktop. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see we have our Outlook here and I have two accounts on the screen. Down the bottom is my secondary account, which is gonna be really easy to remove. And up the top is my primary account, which was the first account we loaded onto Microsoft Outlook when we first launched the program. This one is gonna be a little bit trickier to remove, but we're gonna do it without using any PowerShell scripts or any commands or anything like that. So it should be really easy to follow along. So first things first, let's do the easy one. Let's get rid of this secondary account. All you gotta do if you wanna get rid of a secondary account on Outlook is right click on it, scroll down to where it says remove and the account name and simply select on remove. A dialog box is gonna pop up and it's gonna say, careful if you delete this account, all of its offline data is gonna get deleted as well. I really don't care about this because it's my email account, it's all stored online anyway, so I'm happy to remove it. I just have to simply hit yes and it's gonna disappear just like that. And if you wanna re-add it, you can simply just add it again as a new email account but it gets a little bit trickier when trying to remove the primary email account. So watch what happens when you try to do the exact same thing. If you right click on that primary email account, you can see that the remove button is actually grayed out. And that's because Outlook on the desktop stores a local cache file or basically a local copy of your emails on the desktop. For some reason, I actually don't know why, um, it doesn't let you just delete it without creating a backup of that data. So what we're gonna do is in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna go into the file, and then over here where it says account settings, we're gonna select on account settings once, and then again, we're gonna select account settings one more time. This dialog box is gonna pop up, and you can see here that it has all your email accounts, or right now, it just has your one. So right now, this is our main and our only email account. If we select on the option of remove, another dialog box pops up and it says, you actually can't delete it until you create a new location for your data. And I'm gonna show you how to create that new location now. So I'm gonna hit okay. And your data is stored in the second tab called your data files. So let's open this one up. You can see here that it is stored somewhere locally on your computer. For me, it's in my C drive under users, Outlook, and it's got a file there. So what we're gonna do, even if we try to remove this, it's not gonna work. You get that same message saying you can't delete this right now. You have to make a second location for that data. So what we're gonna do is really quite simple. We're gonna select on the add option, and then you can put the data somewhere else on your computer. I'd recommend just dumping it, say somewhere in your documents, and I'm gonna call this my Outlook data file, and I'm just gonna to put today's date. But I don't think I'm ever gonna need this again but I'm just gonna drop it into my documents and hit okay. So you can see we've now got a secondary data file. I've called it my Outlook data and the date, and we're gonna now set this as the default. So we're gonna use this button here and go set as default. And you'll see the little black tick will go from the top account to the bottom account. So it's gonna pop up saying, hey, we're gonna set this as the default one. Are you sure you wanna change it? And I'm just gonna go yes. And this is gonna take a little bit of time what I recommend doing now is actually closing out Outlook and restarting it because if we go back into the email, you still can't use the remove button because it says your data is being copied. And on the left-hand side here, you can see that that data Outlook, your Outlook data, sorry, is uh, down the bottom as a secondary account and your main email is still your main account. So we're just gonna close this, close out of Outlook completely and then give it a couple seconds, maybe wait a few minutes, depending on how old and slow your computer is. And then we're just gonna relaunch the Outlook program. So the first thing you'll notice here is that on the left-hand side, your My Outlook data and the date is now the primary account. And then down the bottom, you actually have your email account that was primary is now secondary. So if I wanna remove this email account, it's simply right-clicking. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Um, we've got to go into the file section, sorry, and then we've got to go into the account, account one more time, select on that account up here because it is still essentially the primary email account attached, and then we're going to select remove. You're going to get that same dialog box saying, if you delete this, everything else is going to be deleted. That's okay, we're just going to hit yes, and it's gone. So we're going to close out of that, 
and you can see everything is gone, but you are actually still met with, on the left-hand side, the option that says My Outlook Data, and we can't right-click and we can't close it because this Outlook needs somewhere for it to store some local data. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna add another email account to this computer. So the reason you would be removing these email accounts is because you either don't use those email accounts anymore, they're not working properly, you're sharing a computer and you don't wanna see, you don't want other people to see those emails, whatever it may be. So we've now removed all the email accounts that we wanted to get rid of. We have our Outlook data on the left-hand side. And if you're not gonna use Outlook as a program anymore, that's fine, you don't have to worry about this. But if you do wanna continue using Outlook and you don't wanna see the little section here that says My Outlook Data, all you have to do is add a new email account, which we're gonna do anyway. To add an email account, we're gonna go File. We're gonna go Add Account up the top here. And then you can add any account you want. I'm just gonna simply pull back that same account I had, Aldo James Tech Tips at Outlook.com. I'm gonna go Connect. It's gonna take some time to reconnect and download everything. And I'm gonna go OK. See here automatically on the left hand side that email account that you just added, the account that has a connection to the internet and it's not a locally stored account, that has now become the main email account again, the primary email account on your Outlook, which means your Outlook data, you can simply go right click and go close, get rid of it, and there you go. What we've done is removed a primary and a secondary email account. Then we've added a new one, or it could be the same one. Um, and then we've hidden the My Outlook data or that locally stored copy of the data on your PC. We didn't have to use any PowerShell scripts or anything like that. It was really quite easy. It was a couple of steps to follow. And this is a great way to remove primary and secondary email accounts from your Outlook. And of course, start again fresh on your computer. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're supercharged the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.